What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into these updates. It looks like the Atlanta Falcons are currently in an early bye week, even though I'm not a big fan of those. But hey, nonetheless, an opportunity to get some rest before the second half of this season. But what better way of being in the break is with the win as we're getting prepared for that Miami game next week. But let's go ahead and give a shout out to some key players I felt need some accolades for that London game against the New York Jets, and that is Matt Ryan. You know, as we all was wondering how we were going to be definitely doing offensively, Matt Ryan utilized all his weapons on that offense and led the team to a victory, and he actually passed a record. He passed E.I. Manning to move into eighth all-time in passing yards, and he just hit 5,000 career completions. So, hey, for those that like to count his stats, take that. <laughs> but uh shout out to him definitely i'm just you know it's i'm seeing some adjustments and some improvements and you know that makes me smile definitely and let's go ahead and get another shout out also to cal pitt he had a breakout game this particular time in absence of Kevin ridley because we all was wondering how that was going to take place you know and it gave cal pitt's some more looks and I was definitely expecting that he actually had his first career touchdown reception to give us that early lead and this is actually his first 100 yard game as well so like I said breakout for him much needed a nine catch 119 yard performance where he definitely showed off his hand strength and catch ability and I'm happy to see that he's adjusting just fine in the NFL and we're going to see a lot more from him as well as Running back Cordero Patterson got himself 114 yards also in that London game. And he's having a breakout year in his career currently. And the fact we just had to give him a chance and he needed that. And he's definitely established himself as Atlanta's best playmakers five weeks into this season. And he can definitely line up anywhere on this Atlanta offense. And that's definitely encouraging. So with that being said, the Atlanta Falcons are still not resting as we are still adjusting some key um, things that we need to take care of. And that includes that special team. And it looks like we tried out um Wide receiver Cody Core, safety Will Parks, and linebacker Darren Bates. And Atlanta's shaky receiver depth and shaky special teams performance on kickoff returns in these past two weeks has definitely been a concern, you know, and we're not happy with how the coverage is going as well, according to Marquise um, Williams. He's not thrilled at all. Now, we also added tight end Parker back to the roster while we did kick um, kicker Elliot Fry and outside linebacker George Obina. So they're out from the practice squad. So that's all I got as far as updates as we go along. Of course, like I said, it's a bye week, so don't expect too much to be going on. But nonetheless, anything that we have as far as an update, I'll give you guys that. No words on Cal, Calvin, Calvin Ridley, excuse me, Cal, Cabin, my bad. Um, Arthur Smith in his last presser stated he didn't have a time frame on when he will be returning. Of course, no concerns right about now. He didn't seem like it was anything, but of course, he's still dealing with some personal matters. So we'll just have to give respect to his privacy and hope for the best. All right. But until the next time, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation, be sure to tune in to Six Man Convo tonight with K Styles, probably about a seven o'clock time. Appreciate you guys once again. And we are the nation. And I'm out. Peace.